All right, so what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko. As you guys can see, full house today. We got like 20 something players, 24, I think, 24, 25 players. And uh, I'm vlogging, but I'm vlogging a little bit late. So the reason I didn't start my vlog earlier was because I actually didn't even plan to vlog today. And I'm playing Sword Soul, okay? So let me just give you guys a quick summary of everything that's pretty much gone down so far. Uh, because I actually, I did not have any plans to vlog. So essentially today I came to Locals uh, because my friend Kent, came third place at the Toronto Regional, so I wanted to do a deck profile. And I'm playing Sword Soul, but I wasn't done my deck, I was missing a couple cards. So I come to Locals and my friends are like, wait, I can just let you borrow them. And so I was missing a Baron, and um, that's pretty much it actually, I think I was just missing a Baron. Oh, and a Celine. so I was missing a Baron and a Celine. so, and they were like, yo, we'll just let you borrow them. I was like, okay, say no more, if you guys let me borrow them, I'll play. So we just finished round three, and I know this is gonna be a shorter vlog because I didn't even plan to do this, but let me go through my rounds real quick, okay? Right now I'm two and one. I ended up losing round two, and uh, I'll tell you guys about that in a second. So pretty much round one, when I end up playing against Punk, Therion, the Synchro stuff. And essentially what ends up happening is I, I'll show you some clips. I'll put some clips in the video here as well so you guys can get some feature match stuff as well. But I'm gonna have feature matches separately as well so you guys can watch the full game. But pretty much uh, game one, I think I just won by a blowout. It was pretty easily. I will set one and go ahead. I wonder what that card is. Yeah, I wonder what it is. I'll just go battle phase. Okay. Whoa. Game two, we both bricked, but I guess he bricked a little bit harder. So I just pushed for Taiye a few times, and then I ended up winning that way, right? So we ended up getting a round one against Punk Synchro. And bro, like, let me tell you right now, Sword Soul, this deck is insane. Going first, going second, the deck is nuts. I'm going to do a full deck profile so you guys can see it later, but the deck is nuts, okay? And then against in round two, we went against Punk Synchro again. However, uh, this time we ended up losing. So what ended up happening was game one, my opponent was going first, right? So I ended up losing the die roll, my opponent was going first. He goes summon ZM in and I have a Veiler in my hand. And I'm like, listen, I know his hand is not that great because he had, uh, he pitched a Therion and I'm like, okay, he has to have another Therion in hand to do anything. So at this point, I'm like, okay, if I just Veiler the ZM in, he might get a Regulus on the board or whatever, but that's it. Like he's just ending on that. What ended up happening was he had called by for the Veiler. <laughs> You're an animal. You're an animal. <laughs> and that was my only hand trap. So he just made a full board. He literally ended on Therion plus Abyss, like the Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, plus a Formula Synchron. So after he used Regulus Negate, he made a Baron. And I was like, all right, that's too strong, right? All right, I'll go Emergency. Game two, I'm going first. Beautiful. I make my board. I start, I start to make my board. He has Ghost Ogre for it. It's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. I end on the Sinister long one. Is this Sinister? I can't remember which one, but one of the other level 10s that pretty much vanishes when he uses monster or spell effects. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm not in the worst position in the world. Not a great position, but I'm not in the worst position in the world. And I can't remember what I activated, but he has Gamma. And I was like, oh my God, this guy has to have the Gamma. Like it was so nasty. Boy, cheer oh. time. Oh, no, Vino, you lost, finally. I got You're an animal, bro. You're an animal. Do you guys see this? Called by into Gamma. So pretty much what ends up happening is he full combos me and OTKs me. Top. Gamma Kai, six card. So I got, I lost in two there. That was kind of bad. That was just unlucky. Round three, I ended up playing against the Dynamorphia Udlich, one of those trap decks. Super easy. I actually opened Blackout in game two, set the Blackout. I had the Moye. He flipped Skill Drain because I ended up winning game one. Game one was really easy. I just literally set up my regular board with Blackout. He set two. I popped his two and I just won. No blackout? Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! This two? Yeah. Ah, do you have it? How many cards do you have? One. Yeah, you'll probably have a game. Uh, next game, next game. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, game two, he ends up flipping skill drain, right? And I was like, okay, so I have a Moya on the board, but he has nothing on his field. So I was like, alright, uh, I'll just Moya attack. And then he goes the trap, the frenzy to special summon the fusion monster. And I just go Ash because it sends from deck to grave, right? So I just go Ash. He's like, okay, so now he just paid 4k of his life points. I go Moye attack. And then the next turn, I just go Moye attack again and I win. So uh, that was pretty easy. That was pretty easy. So uh, it was pretty good. Uh, we're 2 1, like I said earlier. We're going to be going into our final round. And yeah, I'm sorry I started the vlog so late. I didn't even plan on vlogging whatsoever right now. But uh, I don't know, 20 plus people at the, at the locals. I think there's, I don't know if there's four or five rounds. If it's 24 or 25, it might be five rounds. I don't know for sure, but I'll keep you guys updated. And I'm gonna show you guys actually a quick deck profile, maybe in this video later on when I get home. 
because this deck is nuts. I love this deck. Hey guys, Feature Spanko here. I just want to show you guys the deck profile that I was playing at my locals. Now, I'm going to go more in depth in a future deck profile, but just for now, I want to show you guys what I was playing. So three Moye, of course, three Long One, two Taie, and two Ecclesia. I love this card so much. Going second, this card is nuts. And then we're playing three Emergence as well as one Sacred Summit. Funny enough, this actually never came up. I really wanted it to be good. I don't know if I'm going to continue playing this, but in theory, it's really, really good. And then, of course, one Blackout. So that's it for the Sword Soul Engine. For the 10 years, we are playing three Ashuna, three Vishuda, two Edhara, and two Vessel. This is it. I'm not playing Chitana. I'm not playing the Heavenly, the, the Circle, whatever it's called. I think these are perfect. I actually really, really like these ratios a lot. They don't really brick in these ratios. I don't like playing Chitana. Chitana is really good, but it's a brick unless you have Circle, really. But I do really like these ratios. And then for the rest of the deck, there's no more engines. We're just playing Hand Trap. So three Ash, three Valor, three DD Crow, and three Imperm. I love this Hand Trap lineup. Like, I would not change this whatsoever. I really, really liked it. I considered playing Droll in the main, but I think dd crow is just way too good so i really like this card again i'll go more in depth in the actual deck profile but dd crow is even good against stuff like fairy tale snow and it's also really good against stuff like token collector because essentially like if they send their token collector like a lot of punk matchups will send it off of their shooting riser so that they can just get it from the graveyard you can dd crow it it's really really good obviously really good against the despia matchup so i really like this i would not change this at all and then the last cards i just played two desires as well as one called by the grave so for the extra deck here i did say i was borrowing a couple cards so if you guys see some missing slots that's that's the reason but yeah, we're playing two Chicha, of course, one of the Sinister Long One, as well as the one of the Cheng Ying. These are perfect. And then I played one Chao Feng, one Yazi, one Baxia. I would actually kind of change this. I think I'm going to play two Baxia moving forward, but I really like these ratios so far. Uh, I just want to play two Baxia because I'll show you guys what I'm going to take out later. But I'm playing one Draco Berserker, of course, this card's insane. One Adamantipator Risen. This card actually in my last round came up and it was so clutch. And then one Baron. I was borrowing the Baron. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, but yeah, I don't have a Baron. But yeah, you pl I obviously 100% play Baron here and then the last cards you want to play and this is the thing that i kind of want to switch out after testing is i was playing one hulk one Celine, and one axis code so this was kind of like an otk combo through something like dimensional barrier because what ends up happening is your tenies can essentially go into hulk which essentially goes into Celine, which essentially goes into axis code and if you guys are wondering what you're sum summoning off of the Celine, like the spellcaster you just summon the veiler off of hulk and then that makes you Celine, and then that that makes you axis code right so this was just kind of an otk package that i really tried but i honestly didn't like it the thing is ashuna locks you into worm monsters after you use its effect in the graveyard so you can't actually even make the hulk so i don't know how i feel about this moving on in the future i, I might keep testing it but yeah it came up a couple times at the locals but it never actually won me a game funny enough it just ate a hand trap like hulk literally just ate hand traps every single time and then i'm playing two monk and so the one thing that i want to maybe change is play a second baxia play one of the tenny link twos because the tenny link two gives you an option to go into a link two with your ashuna once you use it from the graveyard so maybe i I don't know exactly how I feel about it just yet, but this is what I was playing. And then lastly for the side deck, I was playing three Droll and Lockbird, two Raigeki. This was my spicy card that I really wanted to try because in theory, it's actually really good this format. Worst case scenario, it just baits out a negate when you activate it, but this should definitely be Nibiru. I'm going to change these out 100% and play two Nibirus here for sure. And then Harpies and three Cyclone. This is mandatory, especially with Mystic Mine or all these like back row decks being relevant. So this is really mandatory to play. I don't have Lightning Storms. Maybe you guys can play Lightning Storms instead, but I really like the Cosmic Cyclone. The quick play is really, really good especially into anti-spell this can be really really powerful then i'm playing 3d barrier as well as three anti-spell so these cards were really good the only thing i think i changed is raigeki for sure into two nibirus maybe find a way for a third nibiru in here maybe cut the harpies just play three cyclones depends but yeah i definitely want to play nibirus here instead oh what's up there's a victim yeah there there's a go. dinomorphia there. victim there you go guys x3 today you're not x3 well, X2, but... Oh, okay, there we go. You're gonna go X3. Same thing. This is Chair, by the way. Yeah. If you guys ever see in the comments, uh, someone... Is your name Ray on, on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. Sadly. If you guys see anyone that says Dyna Pass, or Summon Dyna... Maybe it's time to bring him back. Bring back Dyna? What are you doing, bro? Bring back Dyna. Do you want me Drop it. What do you want from me? Okay, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> Anyways, that was our first victim, or that was our third victim of the day. So, we'll see where the rest of the day goes. Literally the only person I lost to... I came second. The only person I lost to was called by and Gamma. That's me, second place. That's me. That's me. That's me, fourth place. Fourth? 
I thought you were supposed to be uh, third place Toronto Regional and you're coming fourth place. I play live tournaments. Oh, never mind. You entered today. So it's all the best deck. So it's all the best deck. All right. So I know the quality is probably bad. It's dark out. I'm in my car. But we finished the day X1. I ended up coming in second place. It was great. Literally, the one round I lost was kind of unlucky. But otherwise, I think it was really, really good. My last round, I'll give you guys a quick update of my last round. Pretty much what ended up happening on my last round was I was against Punk, Therion, Synchro stuff again. Like that deck is so popular. But the nice thing about Sword Soul is it has such a good matchup now i went first oh baby my first turn board is so crazy in that deck i literally ended on dragite baron chi chow with blackout set uh, like great, right? Go ahead. they're not going to be playing through that right so game one i got that super easy game two we both bricked so hard i tr opened triple ashuna and two valor i want to show the camera this. it's so bad it's so bad Opened so bad, but I was going second. My sixth card was long one. He ended up breaking as well, which was lucky for me. And so I got to push for some damage. He ended up debarring me, so I couldn't go into my synchro plays, unfortunately. But uh, it was fine. It was okay. And then we ended up winning, so we won that in two. So Punk Synchro or Punk Therion, free matchup for you. Literally, the only reason I lost round two was because Gamma called by is just way too strong, right? Can't do anything about that. But it was against one of my good friends, Rayhan. So honestly, he deserves it. He ended up coming first place anyway, so he deserves it. It was a good, it was a good night actually. This is my first time actually piloting Sword Soul at a local event. So take that in. This is my first time piloting this deck, and I think it went pretty well. So I'm happy with the turnout. I'm happy with the day. 24 25 people whatever it was i ended up coming second place can't complain thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and like the video if you guys did enjoy more vlog content coming soon i know this one was unexpected but uh yeah more vlog content is coming soon all right thank you guys all for watching spanko signing out peace